pure grade A Colombian, my friend. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. No, Sonny. I don't have the money. You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get you your money back. And the drugs. And I'm going to mail you the dicks of those response. Time to change it. The families can't keep the backs turned while our enemies reap the rewards. So, we send someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice, quiet slice, okay? Who's our contact some now? sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's re ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what Try the hell are we doing? Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our congressman, Alex Shrub, with rising silicone stock. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba's star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. And that poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent, lead singer with love. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right-hand gimp, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo-intellectual film director Steve Scott. Uh, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Miss Davis! Rosenberg! Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser! That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> Kiss another drink, bruv. Oi, oi, well, what I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals that kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. And my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Hey, hey, whoa. No need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. We Son, need to you help me, and any grease balls giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. This delivery company has got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of... Me. He thinks I don't know how much money I should be making. But stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. No one does this to me. No one. You follow him from his apartment, and you see where he goes. Later, we will kill him. Hey, easy, papi. This man's for me. You. You the boy? Oh, yeah. You the boy. I think so, you know. Oh yeah? You come here, tough guy. You think you'll take me on? You think you'll play stupid with me? And I call him a little girl, papi. Look at him, all dressed up like that. What is this, ladies night? You some kind of tough guy? You dress like a woman? You got on panties like a woman? Come in, my dear, and rest your soul. You must be the big bad man my granddaddy been chatting about. Tell me things about you, you know, when he visits, and about the others who wait for you. Now, we all dead from long time, but you, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. <laughs> I got a message to come here. Can you hear them? Them calling your name, boy, must want you pretty bad, don't you think? Now, you do all Auntie Pulea Turner, maybe she help you. Maybe she can give you a little juju after all of this. Give you some magic to give the lawman the stink Yeah, right, life. but this family takes care of its own. We don't ask a man to do the dirty work and then let him do 15 years hard time. Yeah, that's right, I've done my homework. This here's the biggest family of misfits, outcasts, and badasses. Hell, some of us have even been betrayed by our own country. Which is why I'm going to ask you to go mess with the man. This whole damn country needs a kick in the ass, and we're the ones to deliver it. So get out there, grab a bike, and show this city how pissed you are. And, uh, what was your name again? <laughs> we need some drugs, pal! Gonna get on the old love yeah, yeah, no, fury, yeah. you know? Yeah. Didn't they kill him, man? And now he's back? Yeah, 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 the thing is... The thing is, we need someone to drive the limo we can trust, because that nutter keeps making flat. I'll hard. see Luffist burn. Luffist ruined my life. Planning on selling the old machinery? Breaking it down? 
I'm thinking we might print something. A newspaper, a magazine. Oh, crap, Sonny. Low-grade crap. I've always fancied printing money. It ain't too hard. You know, I've been doing it on a small scale for years. Really? Sure. But we need some good quality plates. Of course. There's a counterfeiting syndicate already operating in Florida. A syndicate? Yeah, yeah. with just rumors is all I've heard. I'm gonna shut that big mouth of yours. Uh, he's got a blade. Oh, oh you Jesus. I've wasted my life and my look. Stand still and I'll well, make the it The best quick. shooter in this town is a guy named Cassidy. Is that so? Yeah, a military guy, or thinks he is. I doubt he was ever in the army, but he certainly knows how to get a hold of guns. He'll be down at the shooting range. Hey, Hill. It's Phil. How's it going? No, don't talk. We'll reminisce later. You want to do me a favor? I got me a guy from up north. Oh, no, I don't think he was in the service. But he wants a driver for a bit of action. Okay, I understand. You, Tommy? Oh. Of course you're Tommy. I mean, why else would anyone want to speak to me? Okay, consider it this way. I'll drive for you if, and only if, you can drive properly. Leave me alone, and I'll never forgive you. How's filming going, Steve? Well, Candy is a natural. And that new girl, she's insatiable. She went through half the cast and crew before I even took a light reading. Anyway, hey, tomorrow we're going on locations. Yeah, but nobody's gonna let us distribute those things. I mean, they're just too, uh, they're Relax. unimaginable. I mean, Martha, whatever you say. I'm sorry, but I just can't swallow oh, this right on, now. Oh, come on, darling.